Hi there, this is Anub. Today, we are going to talk about how to become a Microsoft MVP. So this is the time I get a lot of messages with this question. So the question is how to become Microsoft MVP. I wanted to become Microsoft MVP. What should I do? This is the normal question I get during this time of the year because yesterday there was a lot of MVP related social media posts, etc. So people are excited to become MVP and then they wanted to know what is MVP and how to become MVP. I have done a video on the similar topic with my friend Harjit and I will link that video to this video if you want to refer to that video as well. So this is the updated view from my side. I'm not going to get into complex scenarios in this video. So I'm just going to tell you what is the only thing you need to become Microsoft MVP. So don't skip the video. Let's go and check this out. First of all, let's look into Microsoft's official statement. What are the criteria to become MVP? So this is the website that you can go into mvp.microsoft.com most valuable professional and then you can check out this article to get more details about Microsoft MVP award why Microsoft is providing this particular award what does the value who are MVPs what does MVP award what does it take to be an MVP these are the two articles which you want to look into to get a Microsoft answer for your questions such as how to become an MVP I want to become an MVP how to become an MVP etc etc as Microsoft mentioned three simple steps to become an MVP be an expert do lot of what you love and let Microsoft know or a community know about it so be an expert do lot of what you love and then let Microsoft know or community know or Microsoft MVPs know or Microsoft employees know so these are the three simple steps so if I click on this link, you will get more detailed, elaborated answer. There are four pillars explained in this article that is demonstrate community leadership and influence. The community should first recognize you as a contributor. That is the first thing that is nothing but probably sharing tips tricks from your real world experience and then community should love your tips and tricks that is the first thing and then be a technical expert you cannot be expert in every technology at least I cannot be so select the technology you want to become an expert or the select the technology that you love and try to work on it continuously and become expert in that technology and you need to demonstrate your skills in that technical community there are different ways to do that normally HDMD community also gives platform to people who are interested in community contributions so if you are interested you can always comment below in this video we can try to help you to become a community influencer so there are different ways to contribute to the community you can do a lot of things you can do blog posts step by step guides or you can do video demonstrations you can create a local user group and organize local user group events and share your experience with user group members and get their feedback about the product and discuss their issues and try to help them this is what normally HDMD community do on monthly basis we organize user group events last Friday of every month so if you are interested to know what is user group event you can come to our event but coming back to only one thing that you need to become an MVP that is nothing but passion if you have the passion to contribute to the community without expecting anything out of it then everything will follow you if you have the passion you will dedicate lot of time for the community and if you dedicate lot of time for the community then you would be surely able to learn lot of things when you do lot of R&D in the product which you love then for sure you are going to become an expert in that product so the only thing you need is a passion and consistency comes with passion the consistency is very much needed to become MVP 
if you do community work only for like one or two months and then you lost interest in community activities then probably you don't have that passion to continue you don't have that energy to in interact with microsoft technical community on regular basis then it is going to be tough for you so the only thing you need is the passion to help others in the technical community all the other things will fall in place if you have the passion you would be able to make some time for community activities if you have the passion so only one thing you need that is passion hope this was helpful i will see you as a microsoft mvp and all the best for your microsoft mvp journey if you want to become one but as i mentioned when you start technical community contributions don't think about mvp don't aim for mvp award do it as a passion that is the main thing now that you have learned how to become mvp and what is the only one thing you need to become mvp that is nothing else the passion towards the community you should not think about getting microsoft mvp award you should not work to get into microsoft mvp award you just need to have the passion to contribute to the community without expecting anything out of it i have explained why i am saying that etc etc so hope this was helpful thank you all for watching see you around and all the best for your community contribution journey take care bye bye